welcome to my youtube channel it planet if this video is helpful to you then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel it planet today in this video we are going to see the exercise solution of class 8 chapter number 2 that is access creating a database in that first question is take the correct answer let's see the answers the software that helps to enter and organize data in a database is access access is the correct answer a row in a table that contains information is called record the specific piece of information in a table is known as field query is the combination of data from multiple related tables into a single data sheet the data type that is used for detailed and descriptive fields is long text so these are the correct answers of question take the correct answer second true false a row in a table is called field yes this is false a row is called as a record a rdbms allows us to create a computerized database this is true sentence navigation pane lists all available database objects this is true there must be a unique name for each field in the table. This is also true. And the last one, currency data type can store currency data that cannot be used in calculations. This is false. Then in the fill in the blanks, a database consists of table organized in rows and columns. Rows and columns, this is the, uh, this is the answer. Each field has a data type that defines what we can store in it. The default size for a field with a data type text is 255, 255 characters. The extension of database file in access is .accdb. This dot is also important. A primary key is a key that differentiates the records in a table of database. The answer is primary key. Next question number D that is define the following database. A database is a collection of data organized in a manner that allows easy access, retrieval and use of that data. Then data sheet view. Data sheet view is useful when we need to create a table quickly consisting of few fields. In this view, access assigns general names to the fields such as field 1, field 2 and so on. Number 3 that is data type. Each field has a data type that defines what we can store in it. Data entry is restricted to valid entries for the type you choose. Next question is differentiate between the following. We have to differentiate between a record and a field. So, a record is a row in a table that contains information about a given person, product or an event. A field is a column in a table that contains a specific piece of information within a record. Short text data type. The short text data type is a general purpose field containing any data. It has a limit of 255 characters and cannot be used for numeric calculations. Long text data type. Long text data type has a limit of 63,999 characters. It is used for detailed descriptive fields. Next question answer in one two sentences. What is use of Microsoft Access? Microsoft Access is a relational database management system in short rdbms that allows us to create manage and process data in the form of multiple tables why do we use templates in access we use templates in access because they include pre-built tables and forms that we can use to fill our own data very easily why do we need a primary key? In each new table that we create, we have to set one field as the primary key. Access uses this key to relate records of this table to those of another table. 
that's why we need a primary key and the question number four what is the use of default value in the properties we can speed up data entry for fields that usually contain the same value by making that value as the default yes so friends please like and share the video and subscribe the channel it plan next question answer briefly in that first question what is the role of tables in database in ms access a database consists of a collection of tables organized in rows and columns a record is a row in a table that contains information about a given person product or an event a field is a column in a table that contains a specific piece of information within a record and the second question is why should we specify validation rules while creating a table a validation rule is used to limit a field entry to meet certain criteria by validation rules we can ensure that the correct value is entered into the field if the user makes an incorrect entry error alert can stop the user provide a warning or just provide information and the last application based question it's soma has made a database table in access containing fields like student name class roll number and contact number she has saved the primary key for the field student name has she done the right thing by setting the primary key for this field so the answer of this question is students no in this case the primary key should be set up for roll number field because roll number is unique field right so we should set primary key to the roll number field and what soma has done soma has she has given the primary key for the field student name so student's name can be duplicate that's why the answer is no in this case the primary key should be set up for roll number field so thank you friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video and bye bye take care